today's topic is weldment in this image you can see the construction of a dust collector of a refinery plant and almost all the pot has been designed in solid works and assembled and they are they are all kept in one structural frame called as weldment structures and uh, the challenge for designing the weldment structure is the details what we need is the structural members how much how many is required for constructing the entire framework and also the length required for each structural member but this cannot be derived once you do the weldment structure in pot modeling but this is possible once again in solid works by using weldment design what actually we are doing in weldment design one you are inserting the structural members on a 2d or 3d sketch based on that you are constructing the additional structural members called as uh, the square beam or i section beam or c frame it's according to the requirement and based on this finally the output what we need is the part list in simple terms we can say how many structural members is required to complete this entire fabrication plus what is the length for each structural member these are the details you can get from weldment design and in this area let's see the advantages we have with weldment first point weldment design weldment functionality enables you to design a weldment structure as a single multi body part this is the uh, output you will get when you design any structural frame it will be a single part but you can see multi body part will be there inside and you can use both 2d and 3d sketches to define the entire structure and you can insert the structural members on the 2d or 3d sketches and later to add strength to the structural members we use uh, rib or we can say gussets and to close the open ends of the structural members we can insert end caps so these features these commands are specifically given in solid works for designing the weldment structures and once you complete the whole uh, command or whole design you can have the cut list icon shown in the solid works feature manager tree you can right click and you can say update and later you go to the solid works drawing environment you can place the isometric view or front view and then if you furnish the details of the weldment cut list from the insert menu you'll be able to get the exact details required for the entire structural member let's see how we can do this in solid works this is the first example we are going to see a stand used in heavy engineering this we are going to design using structural members commands let's see how we can do this